The first day of summer is starting off cool, but it was last week's heat. That was a good reminder for many to get their air conditioning in check. Our Kaylin Thompson joins us live after speaking with a local company about the trends they're seeing this year. Hi, Kaylin. Good morning, Jody. Well, those here at Des Moines Heating and Cooling have been busy, but they tell me they're now on the downward slide. But they do say the weather determines their schedule. When it's extremely hot or extremely cold, it stresses the equipment out because it has longer run times. Longer run times means failures. So um, when it really it gets really hot, the pressures in the systems go high, which makes everything work harder. Owner Craig Beveridge tells me his crew of four has been busy fixing and installing several furnaces and air conditioning units the past few weeks. He says the pandemic has caused some equipment shortages, but thankfully his company works with a few distributors in town to get what it needs. Beveridge says his crew is now getting caught up with their workload, but advises people to do preventative maintenance with their equipment and try to think about air conditioning before summer actually hits. When the temperature changes, it changes quickly. So there's a time where we can't really look at your unit and do a good job. So it needs to be at least 60 degrees. They say 60, 65. And that, that way we can get your, your equipment ready for the summer and then it doesn't go down when it's extremely hot. So this morning we're barely, if at all, meeting that 60 degree threshold. And to give you the difference or a perspective of what it was like last week, Beverage tells me they actually had to hose off the pieces of equipment because it was so hot to the touch when they were working on them. But he says if you are one of those people that has to wait to be serviced, there are some things you can do in the meantime to provide you some relief. That's changing the filter or cleaning off the outside of the system. Jody. All good tips, Kaylin. Thank you for that.